that weary look that Humphrey Bogart has all through this film certainly worked for his character of Eddie Willis, but as we now know, that was not entirely due to his acting or makeup. Bogart was gravely ill when he made this movie. Just before the film went into release in early 1956, doctors diagnosed him as being terminally ill. Boogie tried to bounce back, even signed a deal for two more movies after this one, including a comedy called Melville Goodwin, USA, for which he did wardrobe tests with Lauren Bacall. But in early hours of January 14, 1957, nine months after the heart of they fall had opened, Humphrey Bogart died at the age of 57. Up next, Peter Lorre has a heavy conscience and does go a bit overboard to help a friend. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Peter Lorre has a twinge of murderous guilt and crime and punishment. And Lon Chaney exacts revenge just west of Zanzibar. And Chaney is the crooked leader of a sideshow gang in The Unholy Three. Gregory.